Hello everybody, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. Of course I'm Lori. You can see a bunch of mess on my desk, but I had to kind of move my camera. Um, I wanted this to be in tighter. I thought today we would try these um, Spectrum New Color Blend pencils and I've had them a long time. Oh, there goes the dogs. Um, I've had them a long time. And I just thought, I don't know how many of you have seen them, tried them, whatever. I got this coloring page from Sizzix, um, out of the Sizzix coloring books. They are nice, nice way you can do alcohol markers, you can water paint on them, all kinds of stuff. And I figured, well, with spring coming, I used some spring colors. I got my primaries out. And I'm hoping that with the camera you will be able to see I do not believe that I can get this tripod oh I can get it down lower oh nice okay maybe that'll work better you can see the legs but maybe that'll work better okay so now you can with these use what is it called gamisol i've never used it i don't know anything about using it i've got some in there one of these days i will use it but for now i am just going to blend with the pencils without the gamisol okay as you can see, I haven't used these before. I have used pencils, and I've blended with the pencils, but I haven't. I don't think I've done it with the Spectrum nor pencils. So this will give me a good way to see how well it's going to work. And I have my own techniques, and of course everybody will have their own techniques. I've got three colors and I kind of do it the same way as the alcohol markers I like the three colors I'm just gonna do the flower here and then maybe we'll do some different color ones too sorry I needed a drink man I do I have to stay hydrated or have to keep my, 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 my throat wet all the time with these okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'll start in the middle of the flower and actually that's kind of I don't normally start off heavy maybe in the middle but usually you want to go light when you're working with the pencils to start now because I'm gonna want to blend these colors in then I'm going to kind of just go out, but not fill it all in. Okay. Then I'm going to come with my next color, and I'm going to go over that. And I'm going to go over, and especially where that, oh, did that veining. Okay. That's what I call it. I don't know what it's called. Feathering, veining, whatever. Let me show you what it looks like. Now. See, it's kind of hard. Okay. So now I've got this other color coming in. And I'm going to make sure I get a kind of a solid layer here of that. So I've got where it's blended. And kind of the solid. Now I'm going to kind of do a little real light, but leave some empty spots. And I, this might not be a good technique. Maybe somebody say, you can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. But when I first started using these pencils, I couldn't find anything with anybody showing me how I could do this without the gamsol. And I thought, you know, I don't want to use gamsol. I'd rather do it myself. 
And I just kind of had to experiment and I found that this is what works for me. So now this is the last color, so I'm not going to worry too much about leaving a feathering. Of course, I'm just going to, and I will work a little bit into where I left that feathering or whatever you want to call it. see more white than I do so I can go heavier now that I'm done I can go back over and do it a little bit heavier and come back with this color And what's nice, uh, whoops, I went over more of the yellow than I meant to. guess maybe it seems like a lot of work for these but I like the effect when it's done and I can show you boy when you use other colors though see I love that and you can just go from lighter to darker that way too. You can do that with one color just by how hard you press. So I'm gonna do it real light here. And then I'm gonna go darker here because that's the center. And then I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. And this will just be from the pressure of one pencil. I'll show you. And then I'm going to go lighter. When I learned this, I had just bought some a big set online. Okay, then I give a little bit more pressure here. And I find with the pencils that I do better. If I do it in layers. Okay, so here's that. Not quite as impressive as that, right? Let me show you what happens if we use different colors. So let me have a blue and a red. And let's stick with that yellow. Okay, so I'm going to start with the blue. Uh, I want a fairly decent size one here. How about with this one? 
and I'm going to go lightly with the blue. And I'm going to put those little feathers out. And I don't know. You probably can't see what I'm talking about. See where I did that around, but I missed. I didn't fill it completely in on the outside of it. That's what I'm talking about. I just leave some where I don't fill it completely in. Then I take my next color and I come in whoops where that feathering is is where I start putting that other color in and that brings it together kind of without it being like a sharp line or anything. See? So, I'll do this. A little bit more red. And then I'll start doing some of the feather. It's not a very big thing, so it's harder to see. Then I'll come in this one and fill it in and to me that just helps not blending this one mm -hmm. didn't necessarily work out too great. I don't really see any orange in there. I don't really see any purple. There we go. You gotta do the layers. I might have done the blue too big and the red not big enough. Try to get some more of that purple going in here. If you didn't watch the winning, the random drawing, go back in case you're a winner. You have to email your address to me so I can mail it to you. For some reason, I don't seem to be getting my regular blending going here, so I have a little bit of trouble with that. Okay. Not my regular blending look. Let me show you on the back. So start with one color. Okay, and I would go just, you can't see that yellow, can you? Okay. Normally, I won't start that dark. Why am I doing this? Let me do it like I would do it. Let me try a different color that you can see. Maybe this gold. Okay, start light. But start solid. And then as you go down, you just do lighter and leave some spaces. Okay, then you take your next color and start light and work into those spaces. Then as you go down, you fill it in more. And then with this one, lighter and start doing that feathering. Then you come in with the next one. Do it light. Start off light. Go into that.
and then work your way out to the solid. Now, after I've done the original, and it's not much to look at, the original blend, but then I'm going to come over and I'm going to start darkening and doing another layer over it, but keeping in mind that that other color still has to show through so I don't want to cover it up. I'm just doing another layer. Okay. Now I'm going into the yellow. Now I'm going to take the yellow and go over it. You can definitely see where that is meeting in a try. That's why I like that feather because then you don't see where they meet so much. Like here you can really see the meat up and I don't like that. It's been a while since I've done this so see where it should be a solid or red. I'm not kidding. It. Being too careful. But you can just keep layering. But still try to keep the boundaries there. Of where they're mixing. You know, I'm going to have to find those other pencils because I'm not sure see it should be pretty clear that it's yellow then orange then red then purple then blue but just kind of melding together um, not really Here's my solid. There should be a solid red here. And then they just working together. And then these. They work together. And then these. Now the thing is, what they say with these pencils is when the paper fails you should use like a not a smooth paper because when the paper fails there's like these notches oh that go kind of like this let me get a dark pencil here your paper uh, i want to make sure you can see what i'm drawing your paper, I'm going to do this upside down, will go like this, kind of. Okay. And the wax builds in these little, these little, okay. The wax will build in these little things here. And as it layers and changes the colors, then that's where you get the blending going on and the color mixing together and stuff. Once you fill those, you're not going to get that blend no more. It's not going to work anymore. It's just color over color. It's not working. And I'm wondering if this paper is just so smooth that that's, that that's the issue here. And that could be very well. So I'm going to take this one I just did. And I'm going to add some of this yellow to it. Just to give it more color. But 
See, it had white spots. So when I fill the white spots with the yellow, and then of course the color is mixes better. Okay. And then I'm just going to go dark in the middle. So that's easy. Where is it? There it is. So maybe what I'm going to try now, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a blue. Oh, let's do one of these daisies blue. And I'm just going to color the whole thing blue. This is an experiment. I don't know how this is going to work. And I've left white space. Not on all of them. Some of them I got more. Let me show you. Well, you can't hardly see that blue. But some of them I got more blue. And they're a little bit darker than the others. So I'm going to take some of this red. And go over it. Maybe along the tips, and then on some of them, I'll just kind of work in a little bit. But mostly around the tips. Okay, now I'll go back over and show you that. Okay, now I'll go back over with the blue. Softly. I don't want to fill those naked spots in until I kind of got it the color that I want it to be. The tips. Can you see the purple in it? Okay, I'm going to take some more blue on the inside, I think. Now that I've kind of got the color where I want it, now I will press a little harder. I don't know why the dogs are barking. I'm here by myself right now. And I accidentally left the door open. They might be barking at me and they're talking like she's crazy and they're talking to herself. Listen to her. <laughs> and then I'll do a red center. Okay. Ooh, boy, that one up close looked like a big spot. Okay. I'm not liking the way this is turning out at all, and I bet you anything it's this paper. Okay. Let me do some of the green. So we can check out. I don't know how different these colors are going to be. Let's start with, I don't know which one's even going to be lighter. Looks like this one, looking at the lead. Okay, I'm going to just come in. So I'm going to be working for a two-tone green, right? And I will leave blank spaces. And honestly, I probably should have started with the dark. You know what? I'm going to start with the dark and then fill in with the green. 
fill in with the lighter. Because that's easiest. You just can't see anything I'm doing. Hopefully you can see which way my hands are moving. Man, I got a roast in the crock pot and it smells so good right now. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. I feel like I got quite a bit accomplished. I think that could just be from having the contest and um, finishing that up. Could be what it is. Waited a long time for that, and I'm glad we finally reached it. Okay, let's see how she turned that looks. Maybe it's not going to work on this paper. I'll show you what it does work really well on, though. Um, Crafter's Companion stamp and paper. So I might have to come back one time and show you on that. Just do a stamp with some big details on it. But you know, Springs come in and Valentine's and all of that, so... Yeah, it doesn't look too toned at all. see a difference in the colors. Maybe once I hold it up to the camera you'll be able to. Maybe the greens maybe just aren't Peanut. She's the little one that likes to jump up in the tree. Or climb up the tree, whatever she does. Anyways, I thought with this paper with this pattern on here, this might be a pretty background for a card. And it could be just something different. different looking than what people get. Let's see if you see a two-tone. I don't see a two-tone in there. But maybe sometimes that camera picks things up. Nope. No, it doesn't look two-toned. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. 
Now let's try an acorn. I got the brown and the yellow. I'll just do the <coughs> This is Caesar cedar wood. Let's try the yellow. So let me try just going over first with the brown. Let me show you what I did. That acorn up for you there. You should be able to see there's a lot of white in there. Okay, so now I'll come over with the yellow. And fill more in. Okay. Now it's filled in more. Now I'll come back with that brown. And fill in some more. Maybe this is going to be the way to do it with this paper because it's not layering nicely. But I don't know if you're getting the effect of it or not. But you're starting to see it doesn't look so one dimensional. You'll see some lighter spots and some darker spots in there. Can you see it? Kind of in the... Let me see if I can find it. Right through here. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. So this isn't working out the way I wanted it to with these seems to be I wonder why that was there did I do that messed my colors up uh, uh, let's see how about two tone and some pink and then we can just do it straight we don't have to worry so much and actually, I should have the dark uh, in the middle. Yeah, too late. I did it strong there, too. Okay. I'll go back over with a lighter pink. And I'll tell you what, with these pencils, I wonder if I should go ahead and do, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it. When you get the paper, and you do layer after layer after layer, and you start pressing harder, and that's what I'm going to do right now, is press harder with it, even though I wasn't done really blending yet. I'm going to go ahead and press harder because I think it's called burnishing and it's becomes like this burnished and that looks so cool looking on paper. It's not showing on here. But it's, um, yeah, kind of shiny slick. It's where it's filled with the wax, and I can't get no reflection on it for you. Darn it. But it can be really, really super pretty. Let me try getting it a little bit more. It's got to be this paper, I think. Maybe these were made for, like, alcohol. 
because my alcohol markers work really super well in this. And I can see it, but... And let me get this other pink here for the center. shows. Okay. I still don't think you're going to see it. You can see it gets kind of shiny. And it's pretty. And it has its own effect. And they've all done that. Not the acorn. I never got to the point on there. But they've all got kind of Burnished. I really do not like the way that one turned out, but so that's not a bad pink color, honestly. For some reason, it doesn't look full. Looks like there's a lot of white space. So, let's see, orange, but it says flame red. I don't see any orange in here. There's no orange. We have to make our own orange. Let me do red in the center. This one orange flower. That's kind of orange, I guess. Now that I know they're barking at the new dogs next door. So I can hear the dogs next door barking. And Candy, my hound dog, she is already out there. Can you hear her? Oh, and the other ones just went out, so. Okay, because the yellow's there, it should be lighter in here. You know, on the outside, to me, flowers are always usually darker on the inside. Because the sun or whatever gets to them, so they fade as you work out. That's why I always kind of like to do the darker inside. I'm just going over the part where I did the yellow lightly. I just want it to be like a light range. Turn into a dark going in. It's kind of the same as that other one. Uh, my favorite is this one where I did the yellow and then the orange and then the red. And I think that's what I'll do is keep doing that. I could do it with the blue. So we could do a purple, a blue, and say a light blue. Oops. 
portray these three colors. Put these two away. It's a very light purple. Okay, and then we have... I'm going to try doing this in circles because it seems like works better if I use my circles but normally it seems like it works really really good if I do the um, lines because the feathering just works better but doesn't seem to be the case here I don't know if it's the pencils the paper. Oh, this one's turning out really pretty. I think you can't really see, but I'll hold it up for you to see. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe I need to do circles with these. Go back over with the blue. Strengthen my color a little bit. And back with the purple. with the lighter blue again. I could sit here all day and just color like this. kind of like the way that one turned out. Now I guess if you take the gamosol and do it, it mixes it and blends it and everything really well. Usually I do have better blending, but I think this paper is just too smooth. Anyways, so Hmm, here's a tulip. Why don't we try some different yellows? Here's a orange yellow. Okay. I don't know if it is a tulip. Where'd it go? Oh, wait, it's a rosebud. It's a bud, not a tulip. Okay. That one's going to have to be yellow also. And it's too bad it kind of feels like 
you guys aren't getting to see actually the dimension. But this really kind of does give the flowers with the different tones because like that other one, the acorn didn't really show it. You gotta hold it the right way. No, it's not really showing the different shades to you. Darn. Because it's darker down here. And around and around. inside parts especially okay so that's gonna have to be yellow too all right I guess this was kind of a flop today because you couldn't see it and I couldn't seem to get it to work right I'm missing a pencil No, I just obviously don't have things put where they need to be somehow. Ugh. Anyways, I will finish this off camera and um and I use it for a background. Now you can take I don't know what what color would I use? very carefully it's hard to just kind of get a little bit of color in the background just to kind of get rid of the white so that it's not so stark the hard part is keeping your pencil at the angle and the pressure to where you don't end up making big gougy lines in it that don't then look like background anymore. And you just kind of go around and you don't worry too much about hitting every spot. I don't know if you can see any difference in that. Let me show you. If you can, this has been colored. This has not. So you can't see it in the camera, darn. Anyways. So, I guess that's it for now. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to have to remember that that's the color. Um, that's it for now. I um, hope everybody had a great weekend. Everybody, I hope you have a wonderful week. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. And I hope you'll join me again. And I will be getting together stuff so that we can have a 200 subscriber giveaway. Now, it took me a long time to get to 100, so it's probably going to take a long time to get to 200, but we'll work on it. All right, thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye, everybody.